Hey everyone, it's Jess and welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you guys a tutorial and today I did a tutorial for you guys using the Milk Cosmetics Rust Palette. So if you're interested in seeing how I created this look on my face today, then keep on watching. To start off my eye look, I'm using my Morphe Primer and I'm going to be using that just on my eyelid as a base. I've been trying to get into primer recently. I don't no, if I prefer that to concealer, I'm still kind of playing around, but so far it seems to be working. Next, I'm taking an R34 brush from Morphe. I'm going into this lighter cream shade classic. I think I'm going to just use that all over like my crease area. Kind of like set that primer. It's going to say concealer, set the primer. If you guys have any eyelid primers that you love, definitely leave it in the comments below. I'm in the market trying to find ones that I like more than the Morphe one. I tried the Morphe one because it was so inexpensive, and I've also been liking the Anastasia Beverly Hills one, but that's just too expensive, so if you have like a nice medium. Next, I'm taking my Morphe M154, and I'm going in with this mustard yellow shade Erode. I'm just going to put that all over my crease area as well, over where I put the cream shade. I'm going to just build that up a lot. See, the problem I run into with the Morphe primer is I just feel like it dulls my shadows so much. Like, because normally Melt's shadows are extremely pigmented, and I just feel like it's dulling my look a little bit. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just overreacting. I'm finally having a good pain day. Um, last week, um, funny story, I ended up in the ER for extreme, like, cramping in my abdomen, and normally I wouldn't pay much attention to that because I'm on pain management for like abdominal pain. Uh, found out that I had a cyst in me <laughs> that was like five centimeters long and they're like girl you should probably get that taken out. So then I had to stay overnight and they took it out the next morning but I have been pretty much in bed for the past week um, I'm supposed to be in bed for another week, but I figured I feel fine enough to sit up and film some videos. I miss doing my makeup, and my husband's gone, so I have nothing to do. Next shade I want to go in with is this first brown shade Rubbish, and I'm using one of the eyeshadow brushes from the Wet n Wild Pac-Man collection. It was brush washing day today, so none of my normal brushes are available for me to use, um, which is why you guys get all these fun, weird, quirky brushes. I'm just putting this directly into the crease area, not going above, um, just right in that crease where my eyelid meets my crease. And this doesn't have to be perfect, I'm just trying to get a little bit of color in my eye, just so there's some dimension. I've been enjoying trying to see how many different eyeshadow shades I can use and still have my eyes look normal. Kind of been a fun challenge and you'd be surprised at how much you can actually get away with and how many different colors you can actually blend before it looks muddy. So now I'm just going over with that same brush I used with the yellow just to kind of blend everything together and now we can go in with some more deeper colors. Next I'm going in to the shade Rust. This is like a reddish brown shade and this is like supposedly what this palette's all about. It's the Rust palette. I'm just kind of putting that in my outer corner, working that about the outer third of my eye. I'm working that a little bit on the lid, but also a little bit into the crease, about the outer third. And again, I'm just going back over that area with the brush I used for the yellow shade, just to blend everything together. I find the fluffy brushes are the easiest to blend my shades together. Next I'm going to go in and add the shimmer shade. I'm going to use this shade right here, Tarnish. I'm also going to mix a little bit of Redox kind of on the outer bit. I'm going to be using my Morphe M167 brush with a spray of Fix Plus spray. So I'm starting with Tarnish and I'm just putting that all over the lid. I'm not doing a dramatic cut crease, but kind of following the pattern I would do going up to my crease. 
and rounding it out. So when you go back over and blend it, I find it looks really nice and even when you blend it that way. I really like Tarnish. This is one of my favorite gold eyeshadows. It just looks so metallic on the eyelid. And now using that same brush, you don't really have to wipe it off or anything. I'm going to go in with the shade Redox or Redox. I don't even know how to pronounce that. I'm just doing my outer third of my lid with that shade. That's more of a brown shimmer. These shimmers kind of come off a little bit different on the skin than in the pan. They look a lot more warm or yellowy red in the pan, but they come off super, super pretty. Next, I'm going to be taking the second deepest brown shade in the palette. This is Mar. And I'm just going to go very, very light handed with that in the outer bit of my eyelid. Just the very outer portion. I like doing the smoky eyes that are very, very light in the front half and go into a more dramatic or smoky second half, like back half. I feel like it makes your eyes look more awake. That's just my opinion though. I have just the smallest bit of fallout, so I'm gonna go ahead and quickly flick that off. I was gonna use this for blush, hopefully it doesn't do anything. For my lower lash line, I think I'm gonna go back in with Erode the Yellow. Just gonna go very, very lightly under my eyelid. I feel like I'm the only person in the universe that has trouble with their lower lash line. It's so hard to film me doing that while trying to do it. I'm just gonna take a clean, fluffy brush and just kind of buff the edges of that out. And then with a pencil smudger brush, I'm gonna use Rust and Mar super close to my lash line. For inner corner highlight, I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy um, Highlighter. I'm just going to pop that right in the middle of my inner corner. And last but not least, I'm going to use my Urban Decay Perversion Mascara on both my top and bottom lashes. I hope you guys enjoyed that little tutorial. As always, I will leave all the products I used on my face down in the description box below if you want to check any of those out. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, and if you're not already, make sure you're subscribed so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you guys all later.